Now, it's actually possible to kitbash something directly inside of Clip Studio Paint, but it comes with a caveat, and I'm going to illustrate what that caveat is in just a moment. So why don't we go to File, Import, go to 3D Data, and we will go to one of the prefabs here in Pack 1, uh, bring in our Sidewalk, okay, and automatically a 3D layer is created, and it's labeled Sidewalk 8x4. I'm just going to call this Office 1. And I can rotate this view, and I can zoom out a little bit, and I'm just going to do the same thing a couple of times. I'm going to go with, let's see now, we've got a city-based bevel. Let's bring that in. Okay. Let's go import uh, city windows one, because they've got the bevel on there. And let's just put a roof cap on that. So let's go rooftop bevel, bang. And now we've got this really neat little office block. If we're happy with that, we can actually register this as a material. Uh, I've got this 3D city folder that I've created with no registered materials inside. And so what we can do, we could just click and drag that layer and drop it. And yet yeah, we've got, uh, if we select that, we can uh, show the material properties of it. We can see where it is. We can even add some search tags and use it effectively like a 3D material. But here is the caveat. See, the type is not 3D object. The type is layer. What is the difference? Well, let's see. Uh, if I delete this layer here, the original one that we put in, and we can just simply drag and drop this onto our canvas again. Sure enough, we still have our building. All these things are selectable still and editable still. But if we go ahead and drag and drop it again, what happens is that this one's perspective is independent of the first one. And this can be a real problem. Uh, now, there is a way of getting this information into the other layer. And all you have to do is, uh, let's go over here to where it says uh, selection mode. We can shift, select all of those objects. We can simply go edit, copy, and let's just invisible this one for a second, select the first one and paste. And it should paste that building into the other layer at the zero point. And now we can move this building here. And now we've got two in the same layer. And we know this because if we rotate around or zoom in, zoom out, whatever, uh, it manipulates both, not just one. Uh, now you can do this by making several layers, several different buildings and saving them there, but you're always going to have these as uh, a layer type and not 3D object type. And the difference is that 3D object types you can bring into a 3D layer and uh, populate it with more and more 3D objects, whereas layers you have to have this workaround in order to copy and paste the 3D information from one to the other. Mm -hmm.